Hello, good day. Gino here. Today we'll be doing the review of the TechWare Tor Pro Professional Gaming Mouse. Stated on my previous unboxing video of the TechWare Tor Pro, I mentioned that TechWare is a Filipino brand. Uh, well, it actually was. Then it got acquired by Malaysia and now currently a brand from Singapore. I think the acquisition has been beneficial for the brand because of this. Techware has been introduced to the global market and I can see their products in Amazon with a lot of positive feedback. But don't fret, we still have a quality gaming brand that's exclusively Filipino and yes, I'm talking about Rock Gear. So far, wala pa akong Rock Gear na item pero I do have the Spectre Pro 144Hz VA monitor that I bought from uh, their exclusive partner. ECPC. Uh, I'm quite satisfied with this purchase. Hopefully in the future I can manage to buy one of their highly recommended Rock Gear product. Then I'll make a, a vlog or video about it. So let's begin. Enter the TechWare Torque Pro. The TechWare Torque Pro is a pretty RGB gaming mouse that features a Pixar PMW3360 optical sensor, uh, which is also found on most high end uh, mouse in the early days, like the Corsair M65, Rival 700, uh, the Koga Revenger, uh, just to name a few. Uh, even though this sensor already has a successor, um, the performance is still undeniably great till this day and age. Okay, so for the packaging, uh, the TechWare Talk Pro comes uh, in a minimalist package. The box has a flip window so that buyers can see the mouse inside without removing the seal. Uh, on the front, uh, we see the mouse picture the name and uh, branding, the highlighted specs can also be seen here. Okay, so moving at the back, uh, we see the detailed features of the mouse, uh, which by the way, uh, you can view on the TechWare website. Uh, I'll put the link on the description below. Uh, inside, uh, we have, um, let me uh, open the box again. Okay, so inside we have the uh, the actual uh, the mouse itself. Um, the quick start guide and an extra set of mouse feet. Okay, so let's talk about the design. Okay, so the Torque Pro is intended for right hand use, uh, but due to a simple uh, design language, you might mistook this mouse as ambidextrous. So, uh, looking at it from the rear, okay, so we can see a slight uh, slope towards to the left. Okay, and uh, on the top view, so the the right bottom side has a slightly wider curve. So this area on the front, and on the front we can see that the placement of the left. Uh, button is a tad bit taller. So this is the left button. It's a tad bit taller than the right and there are comfort grooves on each buttons. Left hand use uh, for this mouse is still doable. For the dimensions, the mouse is 126 millimeter length, uh, 69 millimeter width, 38 millimeter in height. So this mouse is great for small to medium sized hands. I do have medium sized hands, which is approximately uh, 180 by 80, just for reference. 
Uh, we have uh, tef five Teflon mouse feet here on the bottom. And we can see the sensor here. As well as a dedicated button for lighting. Uh, the first click will turn off the lighting completely. The second will be uh, static uh, static blue or which uh, DPI color is currently uh, on set. So currently it's on blue. Static. So when I press the up, it's going to be uh, violet. Oh no, I think that's blue and this is teal. Uh, teal is 800 dpi, blue is 1600 I believe. And third click will uh, set, set it to the default lighting. Which I have here, gradient color cycle, which you can also customize on the software. Okay, so for the button layout, the Talk Pro has eight programmable buttons uh, that you can customize via software. So we have the uh, left and right button, middle button, forward and back button, DPI plus, DPI minus, and we have an eight button here, which uh, I have set as a dedicated sniper button. I'm going to teach you later on how to set it up when we go to the software. Okay, so for the build and feel um, of the mouse, this is where we could see how Techware was able to bring down the price tag. Uh, nandito yung cost cutting. Uh, if you already own a higher end mouse that has like two to 3,000 peso price tag, you'll immediately notice that the plastic used on the TechWare Tor Pro is on the cheap. As you can see on their website, they're actually marketing this feature. Um, it's called uh, Grip Push. So let's read it. So uh, Tor Pro features an in-mode side grip design and a fine textured finish on the upper surface. So, um, so here's the in mode uh, side grips. When you apply a certain amount of inward force uh, on the center or towards here, or when you're pressing it, you'll hear uh, it's uh, you you'll you'll hear a creaking sound, and it's audible, but it's not that loud. The the plastic feels brittle and loose uh, it doesn't feel solid and firm like the ones on my Cobra 600M uh, if you're looking for a firm solid feel mouse uh, you won't find it here and for the fine textured finish on the mouse surface or basically the top shell um, I think this is just uh, white plastic what you can see here this is white underneath here and this is paint Uh, it does feel on the cheap as well. Talking uh, uh, more about the top shell, I have here a very cheap Zeus M110 mouse that I bought in Lazada for 109 pesos. And I think the plastic here is just the same as this one. Okay, so fortunately for the buttons, mouse 1 and 2 has one of switches and has a rating of 20 million clicks it's a bit soft for my liking but it'll do uh, it doesn't feel cheap uh, which is a good thing uh, the middle button is also nice and clicky forward and back button also nice and clicky the placement is also good sniper button is uh it's also nice and clicky but uh, sadly, the placement is a bit unsuited for a sniper button. Uh, I wish they could have uh, placed it right here for a claw. I'm a claw grab uh, guy. Uh, so that, um, maybe above here or a little bit forward here. So um, for for ergonomics, 
and ease of access um, when sniping on the fly. Uh, the placement is forgivable. It might take some time for you to get accustomed to when you had a mouse before that has a good placement for a sniper button. Um, unfortunately for DPI plus and minus, um, it's very mushy. Um, the scroll wheel is nice and tactile, um, but the plastic edge on the rear end here, it's sharp. So when I'm scrolling down a page I've, and it's like uh, I'm touching it, it's I feel like it's scraping off my skin uh, on my finger. Okay, so the mouse has this 1.8 meter braided cable, which is also malleable. Uh, I never did feel that it's dragging me down when I'm playing. The Deflon mouse, mouse feet is also smooth and uh, no complaints here. Okay, so for the weight, uh, the mouse weight... Uh, the mouse weighs 111 grams, uh, which is quite heavy for my liking. Uh, another gripe about the weight is the uh, the distribution. Uh, the distribution isn't uh, proportionate. Uh, when you're lifting the mouse up uh, and grabbing it on the in mold area, it goes like this. So if most of the weight is focused on the rear, kailangan laging mahigpit yung hawak. Uh, so you need to basically uh, grab, uh, you need to have a firm grab when you're using this mouse and when you're lifting it, it needs to be firm. Um, if ever your finger trip, you'll have a hard time lifting the mouse. Uh, but for claw and palm, you won't notice it as much as fingertip. Uh, the mouse is quite heavy for its size. If Techware made this mouse at least 90 gram, and if the weight is properly distributed, this might have been the perfect budget FPS mouse. Let's talk about the aesthetics. Uh, in this department, the Tech Talk Pro outshines the competition. Uh, it's very uh, pretty because of the RGB lighting. Uh, there are no hot spots on the RGB light bar on the bottom. Uh, the colors and brightness are evenly diffused. Uh, the software also offers uh, a plethora of lighting effects for better customization. Uh, good job, Techware, for that one. All right, so uh, we have here the software, and for the uh, Techware software layout, uh, we have uh, it has two tabs. Uh, we have the mouse and the macro tab. Uh, under the mouse tab, we have uh, the button, uh, which you can uh, rearrange your button assignment. And uh, for the uh, total buttons, we have eight programmable buttons here. Uh, the second sub menu would be sensitivity. Um, here you can basically uh, assign and set your uh, sensitivity. You have uh, six level profiles for sensitivity that you can change on the fly. Um, we have uh, the third sub menu, which is LED. Uh, on this sub menu, you can. Uh, basically change or customize your mouse's lighting effect and the fourth sub menu would be parameters uh, here you can change the sensitivity uh, the scrolling speed uh, the double clicking speed and the uh, report rate or the polling rate all right so for this one i'm gonna show you my current setup for my torque pro mouse so under button assignment, um, the only thing that I've changed here would be the 8 uh, button. I've programmed this uh, key to DPI lock to 300, as you can see here it's 300. Um, so basically what this does, I've uh, converted the, uh, the, eight, the, the number 8 button to become my sniper button. So whenever I press the... Uh, this this uh, button here um, it will lower down my DPI to 300 so as long as I'm uh, holding and pressing it down my DPI setting will be 300 so this will uh, basically provide better control uh, when I'm aiming uh, uh, on uh, my FPS games like Counter-Strike 
uh, Overwatch, something like that. Um, the next one, uh, you have to hit apply as well. After you've uh, managed to like uh, do your change, you have to hit apply for the changes to apply. Um, sensitivity, uh, sensitivity. Uh, what I did here was just change the 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 colors of my DPI level two which is 800 i'm currently on dpi level 2 right now i prefer this color uh i just want the i just want it to be color teal instead of white the default uh, for uh dpi 800 is color white so let's cycle uh, there that's the highest dpi which is 12,000, and it's color purple as you can see here oh you got it's hard to control here okay let's Go back to DPI 800. Okay, so if you want to change the uh, the DPI setting, and um, you just have to like scroll here. You change it that way. Uh, the next step would be parameter. Uh, nothing change here uh, on the parameter you can also do the mouse sensitivity uh, in windows and scrolling field uh, double ping speed also you can do that uh, in windows settings uh, overall uh, techware did a good job on this software it's simple and it just works and for the performance, I'm using this mouse as my daily driver uh, and the sensor performance is phenomenal. Tracking is very accurate and smooth on Windows and general activity like browsing, gaming. Uh, and since it's a 3360 uh, optical sensor, uh, fast or flick mouse movement won't spin the sensor out of track. Um, it's given... Um, which is great for low sensitivity IPS gaming. Uh, for a more than half a month of usage, uh, I didn't encounter any issues with the sensor uh, and buttons. And final thoughts and opinion. Um, so if you have 1,240 pesos or $25 to spare, uh, and you want a gaming mouse that performs exceptionally well, uh, has good looks, and has a safe uh, shape uh, for right hand use. The TechWare Talk Pro should be on your shortlist. Uh, if you don't want to compromise on build or you just prefer a lighter gaming mouse, uh, you're better off with the Rock Yano or the Logitech G102. Uh, mind you that the shape of the other recommended mouse is ambidextrous uh, and the Logitech G102 doesn't have uh, a 3360 optical sensor. It has a different sensor. For gamers who's coming from a generic office mouse, uh, you'll definitely appreciate the upgrade. Uh, but for the likes of me who happens to have uh, no budget and I'm just replacing a faulty, uh, somewhat high grade uh, gaming mouse, I'll just have, uh, I'll just have to leave uh, leave with the compromises and enjoy the lovely Pixar 3360 optical sensor uh, Please give my video a thumbs up uh, and subscribe to my channel for more contents like this uh, Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out